Hi, and welcome to another Eagle tutorial. This is going to be a multi-part tutorial in which I'll be teaching you how to quickly design an enclosure from your Eagle PCB design. From your Eagle PCB workspace, I'll use the Fusion 360 fly menu to send the design over to Fusion 360. This step will only take a few minutes. When finished, let's go ahead and move over to Fusion 360 to see our results. The PCB in the design workspace of Fusion 360, the first step we need to do is to define an offset plane. The process of making the enclosure will always begin by sketching an outline. Before drawing a sketch, it is required that we have a selectable plane where it will be drawn. Click on the Construct pull-down menu and select the option Offset Plane, then click on the bottom surface of the board. The offset plane can be pulled from the selected surface. For my example, I'm going to be pulling it 8 millimeters from the selected surface. With this defined plane, now I can proceed to create my sketch. I will select Sketch and click on the surface plane I just defined. From the Sketch pull-down menu, I'll now select Project Include Title and select the option Project. I'll be using this option because I only wish to project certain aspects of the PCB onto my sketch plane. After confirming the projection, I'm going to rotate my workspace to get a better view of the projected surface. With the sketch environment still active, I'll now use the offset button to offset the board outline. The first offset is going to be the distance between the PCB and the enclosure wall. For our example, we are going to keep a distance of 1 millimeter. Since I plan to 3D print this enclosure, I'm going to make sure that I keep a wall thicknesses all around of at least 2 millimeters. Therefore, my next offset will be 3 millimeters from the original sketch profile. I will use the same procedure to generate the offset for the outside wall with a distance of 5 millimeters from the original sketch profile. To keep the PCB from resting on the bottom of the enclosure, I'm going to create a 2 millimeter offset from the four intended standoffs. I will click Finish Sketch to end my sketch process. I'm going to end this tutorial by creating the enclosure PCB standoffs. These standoffs will be of the same width used on the PCB. I'll be using the Extrude tool for this step. Click on the Extrude command from the toolbar and click on the sketch profile I'll be extruding. After clicking on the profile, I will left click and hold on the surface of the PCB and select the option Face. This will draw my standoff from the selected profile to the surface of the PCB. I'll click on the remaining profiles to complete all my standoffs. This ends part one of this tutorial. Please join me for part two, and which will create the remaining stabilizing standoffs at the bottom of the enclosure. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day.